In this video, we are going to create a grainy glow effect. So, let's get started. In this scene, we have this simple text animation setup, and we are going to add the grain effect and the glow effect over these text elements in here to achieve our grainy glow effect. So, to do that, I'm going to hide the first layer in here, so hide that from there, and I'm going to simply reposition this in the middle so that we can start working on this text layer first and then move to the second one later on. The first thing that I need to do is add an inner shadow to this text in here to which then we can apply the, the grain. To do that, there are various ways that you can go about it. First of all, you can edit using the layer cell, so from layer cells and then inner shadow. But in this case, I'm going to use another approach where we are going to add effects and presets. From the effects and presets, we are going to add some effects to achieve it with effects, basically, so that later on we can simply copy these over other layers and apply the same effects, basically. I'm going to first go to Drop Shadow. Now, the problem is that we don't have an inner shadow in here, so we're going to use the Drop Shadow effect. To see this properly, I'm going to simply add a new solid in here. So right click and add new solid and I'm going to give it this color like that. Then we can change it at a laser stage as well. So perfect. So now we have a background. If I go on this, we can immediately see our drop shadow. So let's increase a little bit the distance. This looks great, but we actually need an inner shadow and not an outer shadow. So in this case, we're going to choose shadow only in here. Perfect. Just like that. The next thing would be to add now an invert effect. So let's search for invert. And we are going to use this invert effect to invert the alpha channel. So that, as you can see now, we have the shadow on the outside of this layer and an empty space in the middle. So I'm going to increase the opacity of the drop shadow to 100%. So that, as you can see, the inner is not transparent in here. Perfect. And now we need to bring back the original text. And to do that, we're going to add a composite effect. So CC composite, we're going to add this to the behind, to be behind the text. So remove RGB only from there. And you can see it immediately. We have the text behind that drop shadow that, that you have inverted earlier. So now the problem is that the drop shadow is going out in this weird box over here and it's not looking well, good. So we're going to simply duplicate by Control D or Command D on your keyboard the composite effect. I'm going to position this above the other one and I'm going to change it from behind to stencil alpha. And this will cut this drop shadow effect with our original text. So choose stencil alpha from here. And there we go. Now we have that drop shadow that is actually inside of our text. Wonderful. Of course, in here, you can see it a little bit cut in there, but don't worry when we increase the softness like this, that will disappear. Wonderful. So now we are ready to go. We can rotate this wherever we like, just like that to choose from where the light comes. There you go, we have a 3D looking effect over your text. So the next step would be to add the grain. To do that, I'm going to use a simple effect named Ace HLS. Noise in here, noise HLS, drag and drop that, that right over that. And from noise, we're going to choose grain. Wonderful. And we're going to choose to increase the lightness. And immediately you can see how that works. You can see the grain right over there. Let's increase this to around the uh, 110%. We can also increase the grain size to around two. Right now, as you can see, it is a little bit uh, too smooth and we can make it a little bit more sharp by adding some contrast. So let's find an effect named brightness and contrast. Drag and drop it right over there and we can increase the contrast like that. And if we click on Use Legacy, you can see how that works for us. 
and let's make that 60 and maybe increase a little bit the brightness and like that as you can see you can tweak how much grain you have etc so we're basically done now we have that green happening there and uh, it's nice and sharp exactly how we like it now of course right now it is black and white so we can readjust the colors simply by adding a tint effect now the tint effect will basically map the black to whatever color you like and the white to whatever color you like so in this case i'm just going to choose for the white a kind of purple color just like that wonderful and then for the black we can choose the same color but maybe a little bit darker and we can make it a little bit blue as well now now it's a good time to change the background so i'm going to add a fill effect on the background to change the color of that as well so to make it look a little bit more dark great i love how that is looking so if i go over the glow effect once again the glow text and go over drop shadow we can increase the softness as well just like that and maybe increase the distance or decrease it to readjust how this the, this whole thing is looking i like how this looks so now we can move to the next part which is the glow to add the glow we are going to add a new layer so layer new and uh, we're going to add an adjustment layer and from here we're going to select glow so type in glow search for glow and drag and drop it right over that adjustment layer i'm going to rename the adjustment layer layer to glow and immediately you can see our glow right over there now we need to play a little bit around this it's not looking that well good right now so but don't worry we're simply going to decrease the intensity from here to around 0.3 wonderful the glow radius i'm going to do it around two and glow threshold for now for now i'm going to to leave it like that that now it's not how we would like that to be so i'm just com simply going to com do command d on my keyboard to duplicate this and we can have now another effect of this and we're going to increase the radius of this to around 20 or 30 just like that and let's command d again and for the last one we're going to increase this to around 300 so that we have more glow now right now we cannot really see that it that much so we're going to add the transfer mode of that that uh, adjustment layer to add let's now increase a little bit the the glow intensity and start playing with this so this around 0 0.6 maybe and this one to 0 0.6 as well wonderful so i think the glow is looking great right now of course we have lost the detail in this in this uh, text so now we can go ahead and maybe make the background a little bit darker like that and we can even readjust the colors of this so something like this maybe and the black we can reduce it a little bit more like that and maybe we can increase this a little bit like that you can continue to play with these settings in here to get what you would like the, the look one thing that you can play with is the glow threshold so you can go over these and play with the glow threshold i would recommend to start from the middle one here so glow two in this case and as you can see this would really change the look of the whole thing just like that let's see how this is looking when we animate it wonderful as you can see right now that grain is not being animated so to animate it it's quite easy so we're going to go to go to the noise hls effect go to noise phase and we're going to type in a simple expression in here so click on the stopwatch while holding R, alt or option on your keyboard great and now if we scroll down in here we are going to type random and there we go we have the option for us i'm going to click on it and we're going to give it something like a 500 inside 
just like that. And immediately now, you can see that grain being animated. Great. So if you would like to take this a step further, you can even add a posterize time expression here to make it a little bit more choppy. So right now you can see that the animation is quite like smooth in here. And if we would like to give it a more like a stop motion effect for the noise, we can do that by adding another expression. So I'm going to add posterize time in here. And what this will do, it will render basically at the number that we give it. So for instance, if we give it something like 15, it will render 15 frames per second instead of 25. So it will appear, it will look a little bit slower in here, as you can see, more choppy. Great, I like how that is looking. Now I'm going to add the grainy text back on. I'm going to bring this layer down just like that and uh, copy and paste all of these effects from the glow. So control C on your keyboard, go to grain in here and control V to paste. Great. And there you have the other effect applied there. And then of course you can change the colors of this. So let's change this to something like this. And actually quite like, like how this looks in here. Of course, you can even change the, the black, but this looks quite cool as well. So let's, let's maybe change it to red. Perfect. Wonderful. Very nice. So the same technique could be applied to any other layer. So in this case, for instance, in this example, we have applied this to this circle and as you can see immediately, it gives it this really nice shine over it. And that, that grain also gives it a, a nice feel and makes it look a little bit more 3D. That's basically it. I hope that you have found this useful. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we will be releasing more videos to help you learn After Effects. So hit like and subscribe to support this channel.